government that gives you a better understanding of the county's goals, policies, and actions, along with helpful information on consumer awareness, crime prevention, agriculture, and area history. Did you know what's involved in putting on an LPGA event? Preparations are underway and we've come behind the scenes to show you. Currently we are in the camera tower on the 18th green. Workers busy erecting tents and fences. Finishing touches on the leaderboard. Communication cables being installed. Telephone network being checked out for the media tent complete with dozens of phones and fax machines. Enormous air conditioning units necessary to cool the tents. Modern comfort stations. Everywhere you look, green screening, green chairs, green bleachers all designed to blend into the background. The many companies delivering and preparing for the mass of people who will be here. The beautifully landscaped emblem. Daytona Beach is a site of the Sprint Championship, LPGA's richest ladies professional event. The new LPGA headquarters is a great addition to the Daytona Beach area and its economical development. Mary Smith reporting. government that gives you a better understanding of the county's goals, policies, and actions, along with helpful information on consumer awareness, crime prevention, agriculture, and area history. Welcome to Volusia Magazine. I'm your host, Ed Strum. On today's program, we'll sit in on the latest meeting of the Volusia County Council as difficult issues concerning beach management are discussed. We'll see that on this week's From the Council Floor. Then Volusia County Soils Technician Dave Griffiths will tell us about the importance of soil testing in Volusia County. And finally, Dave Byron will bring us an interview about Volusia's Wetlands Mitigation Program that requires developers to help save wetlands in one area to make up for destroying wetlands in another area. We'll get to those stories in just a few minutes. In other news, a staff member from the St. John's River Water Management District is available to answer questions on district matters each Wednesday at the Volusia County Administration Center in DeLand. Instances uh, a person would meet with the county staff and go over what they were going to do to meet the county's requirements. Arranged by calling Volusia County's Development and Operations Office at 736-5924. Personal computer users and other residents can recycle white office paper at 12 locations in Volusia County. The target group that we put these out for were the at-home small business people who don't gen generate enough paper for a recycling hauler. They may have a computer that they use at home or a small business at home, and they just have a small amount to collect and take to a drop-off site, and that's what these were put out for, to make it convenient for those small business people. Small and at-home businesses may use the white paper recycling igloos to comply with the county's mandatory commercial recycling ordinance, but they still must complete a commercial compliance form. The collection containers are for white paper only and should not be used for colored or shredded paper, trash, junk mail, magazines, or cardboard. The new igloos are coral colored and can be found at the Volusia County Library Center at City Island, 105 East Magnolia Avenue, Daytona Beach, Halifax Fire Station Number 11, 1580 Derbyshire Road, Holly Hill, Port Orange City Hall, 1000 City Center Circle, and at the Port Orange Public Works Department, 407 Virginia Avenue, Seabreeze Recreation Center, 1101 North Atlantic Avenue, Daytona Beach, 
The Tomoka Landfill, 1990 Tomoka Farms Road, Daytona Beach. Oak Hill Fire Station, number 22, 361 North US 1. Turnbull Fire Station, number 23, 1850 Pioneer Trail, New Smyrna Beach. Ardmore Farms, 1915 North US Highway 17, DeLand. For more information, contact the Volusia County Department of Solid Waste Management at 947-2952 or 257-6021 in Daytona Beach, 423-3862 in New Smyrna Beach, 736-5982 in West Volusia, or 574-0598 in Deltona. Everyone at the County Administration Center on April 20th was thinking green. That's because the day was devoted to the county's annual Earth Day festivities designed to encourage recycling and heighten environmental awareness. The state mandate, and we are always talking about that, for all county recycle um, has said 30% of our waste product. However, Volusia County has exceeded this requirement. Volusia County has 32%. What a wonderful record. We have recycled more than 325,000 gallons of used oil since 1989 and have implemented a very strong wetland and dune protection program. This is the Department of Solid Waste Management's fifth annual Earth Day celebration and the 25th Worldwide Earth Day. The county's environmental activities continued with an Earth Day extravaganza, April 22nd at the Daytona Flea and Farmers Market. The County Council devoted a considerable amount of its time at its April 20th meeting to matters concerning Volusia County beaches. A different law enforcement scenario and a possibility of crimes on that beach that you don't have in a place like Disney World or SeaWorld. Folks, believe it or not, Mickey right now is putting a beach in north of Vero Beach, which is designed to co compete with Daytona Beach. That's the way it was put in the newspaper. They wanted to, to come after our beach and provide a family experience. Apart from one rare glimpse of Nicole, the couple might almost not exist. He'd obviously think... <laughs> Hello. Did you know that you can get your soil and water tested for free at the Volusia County Agricultural Center? Hi, my name is David Griffiths. I work as a soil and water agent for the Cooperative Extension Service. I would like to show you the proper way to take a soil sample for analysis. The important part about taking a soil sample is to make sure that you get a good overall coverage of your yard. What you want to do is you want to go to several different places throughout your yard and take a sample. When taking your sample, you want to make sure that you get in the area where most of our plant roots are found, and that's generally four to six inches below the surface. So we want to take the top soil, we want to knock that off. Take this, we want to put it into a bucket. What we'll do now is we'll go to another part of the yard and take another soil sample place that in the bucket also. This makes sure that we're not just getting the soils tested in this one area. We want to get the good overall coverage of our yard. What we've now done is we've moved to a different location in the yard and we're going to take another soil sample and place it in the bucket. Here again we're making sure we get down where the roots are at. It's very important that we test the soil where the roots are located. So we've knocked off the topsoil. This is the area where the roots are generally found. Now what we want to do is we place this soil into the bucket with our other samples. What we'll now do is we mix the soil up from the various locations that we've tested so we get a good representative sample of our yard. We've take, we've already labeled our bag. It's important on the label that we have our name, address, and type of crop we're planning on growing. This happens to be for tomatoes for a garden. 
important to us because fertilizers are salts. So this actually will give us a measure of the fertility of the soil. Did you know what's involved in putting on an LPGA event? Preparations are underway and we've come behind the scenes to show you. Currently we are on the camera tower on the 18th green. Workers busy erecting tents and fences. Finishing touches on the leaderboard. Communication cables being installed. Telephone network being checked out for the media tent, complete with dozens of phones and fax machines. Enormous air conditioning units necessary to cool the tents. Modern comfort stations. Everywhere you look, green screening, green chairs, green bleachers all designed to blend into the background. The many companies delivering and preparing for the mass of people who will be here. The beautifully landscaped emblem. Daytona Beach is a site of the Sprint Championship, LPGA's richest ladies professional event. The new LPGA headquarters is a great addition to the Daytona Beach area and its economical development. Mary Smith reporting. Dave Byron is standing by with an interview about Volusia County's Land Mitigation Bank program. It's an action plan for allowing developers to create wetlands in one area to make up for destroying wetlands in another area. It's a system that seems to benefit everyone. Let's find out more about it with Volusia County's Community Information Director, Dave Byron. Dave? Thanks, Ed, and good evening, everyone. You know, there's a new bank in Volusia County, and it's open for business. Call Volusia County's Wetlands Mitigation Bank. It's a new program which protects our environmentally sensitive wetlands and makes it easy for developers who are required to compensate for the wetlands acreage lost in the building process. Essentially, this program allows developers to make a wetlands deposit in the bank to pay for their wetlands withdrawal. The Wetlands Bank is a classic case of win-win. The public wins through sound environmental planning and preservation, and the developers win by having an easy way to meet their wetlands mitigation responsibility without actually having to manage replanted wetlands acreage. Well, all this is indeed a little complicated. We have two people with us today who can put this program in layman's terms. Our guests are Steve Kintner, the county's environmental management director, and Ed Schrank, who owns a company called Environmental Planning and Management. Who came up with the formula? D d is that the formula that you come up with? Uh? No, the uh, water manage the uh, St. John's River Water Management District determined the number of credits that a developer would need with regard to uh, the adverse impacts he's creating uh, to the wetlands uh, or to uplands that adversely affect wetlands uh, from his development project. So the water management makes the, the determination? Is As to the number of credits that w he would require to mitigate or compensate for the impacts to the wetlands that he's creating. Does, Steve, do we assume that this program would generate uh, money to buy additional land? We certainly would hope that will occur. Is that the goal? That is the, the, one of the goals is, to, one way or the other, is to acquire additional lands. It will definitely generate the money to buy lands for mitigation banking. It will pay for itself. Uh, we would also have the potential to buy even additional lands beyond that uh, as seed for additional banks. The demand for banking that we've seen in the community is, is very large. Uh, developers that we've spoken to uh, would much prefer to have us take on that responsibility, our partnership take on that responsibility, as opposed to them having to carry on this long-term burden. And uh, it may take many, many months to get a bank approved or get a mitigation project approved. Our projects will already be underway you know, just you can look at our success rate, they can see our projects, where we're, where, where we're doing them. Thanks for being with us. Dave, thank you for having us. And Ed Schrank with Environmental Planning and Management in Deland. Uh, thanks, Ed. I appreciate you being with us. Good job. Oh, my pleasure. Try to get rid of all the toxic items that you 
would normally put in the landfill. These are all of our cleaning supplies that we use around our home. Nearly everything we use can be toxic in the long run. And it's amazing how many things that we can clean with plain old soda and lemon juice and vinegar and those kinds of things that we keep on our kitchen shelves. So we want to go in that direction. After all, we do need to buy items to think about how we can reuse, reduce, or recycle. And you can do that by the way you shop and shop Enviro Shop. Re Thanks for watching Volusia Magazine. If you have any suggestions regarding our program, or if there's a topic you'd like to see reported, please give us a call at one of the numbers you see on your screen. And that brings to a close another issue of Volusia Magazine. We hope that in the last half hour, you've learned more about your Volusia County government and the services it provides. For Volusia Magazine, I'm Ed Strum. Have a good evening.